Hi guys, it's Tom here from the Art Music Sphere, um, talking to you today about the best industrial bands um, of the modern era. So we're talking like 2020. I want to run down a list. I'm not trying to exclude anybody. I'm not trying to exclude the Forefathers. I'm not trying to exclude Big Black. I'm not trying to exclude Godflesh. Um, I'm trying to incorporate uh, newer bands, the emerging elements of industrial music, uh, and kind of doing really well now in 2020. The first one is obviously Code Orange, who have done really, really well uh, over the last few years. Their oranges are, oranges are, are of course, in hardcore, uh, but they've kind of incorporated more electronics into their recent stuff. And done some incredible live stream work recently um, in the wake of the epidemic. Um, they're doing wonderful, wonderful things for the genre uh, right now. Um, and heavy music in general, kind of metal as well. They're kind of one of the more kind of... Uh, sort of popular metal bands of the moment alongside bringing industrial music um, in the same way that you know the kind of more darker heavier more um, aggressive uh, sort of vibes of Nine Inch Nails back in the day Code Orange have that now um, uh, but it's arguably a little more accessible uh, their last record forever um, and this one they've just bought out is really really cool uh, they've got some cracking cracking tunes in there underneath is, is a great example um, called dark place is another one they're incredible incredible uh, performers uh, that meld not only metal uh, but also um, but also industrial and those kind of harsh electronic sounds. Um, another one I'm going to bring to your attention is Youth Code, uh, much more of a less uh, kind of um, band, you know, much less of a kind of conventional band. Obviously, Code Orange have the guitars, the bass, um, and the keys, um, drum live drums as well, which is a which is kind of rare um, in in kind of modern industrial music. Obviously, we're kind of steering away from um, EBM in the main. Uh, obviously, there are great examples of, of fantastic EBM acts. Uh, like Nate, Nate Sareb, who have done amazing things um, over the course of their career. Um, but, but yeah, so, so in terms of people taking inspiration from that youth code, uh, another great example of that, a uh, really, really cool kind of industrial punk band uh, that are taking elements of EBM, but not like cheesy, rubbish, uh, cyber goth, you know, um, bollocks. <laughs> uh, but kind of taking that kind of, uh, that kind of vibe, that Nate Sareb vibe, um, and um, and kind of punking it up, making it much more heavier, much more extreme. Uh, it's got a vocalist in there and 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 uh, backing since just an incredible, incredible band uh, doing amazing things. I think they've been uh, they've been earmarked by Deftones. I think Chino Moreno is a fan of them. Um, really, really cool. Really, really extreme stuff. Um, you know, battering, battering drum machines. Um, really, really again, really, really harsh kind of hardcore vocals. Um, and a really strong image as well. Obviously, they've got a really, really good image and vibe uh, from LA, doing really well. Um, and, I'm, and I'm really, really pleased to see them kind of bringing that EBM sort of punk vibe uh, back to the scene. Um, and then there's another one which I'm going to bring up uh, called Horror H0909. Um, they've kind of come up really, did them really, really well. They were on the Prodigy's last record. Um, they're kind of industrial hip hop. Um, they've kind of beat Uniform and those kind of again, EBM um, sort of industrial punk bands into this list. Uh, but again, honorable mentions for the likes of Uniform um, and Clipping as well uh, for that kind of uh, Clipping on the more industrial hip hop side. Uh, a fantastic. Uh, fantastic band, uh, really, really cool kind of uh, fusion of, of, of mainstream hip hop and, and harsh industrial sounds. But yeah, HO909, very similar. Uh, again, on the Prodigy's record, done some international touring, uh, you know, doing really, really well. I think they've, um, they've done some stuff with Three Teeth as well, who are another kind of more commercially accessible industrial band. Fantastic visuals on their videos and just a really, really great uh, vibe in general uh, for them. Uh, again, really solid image, really, really kind of, um, I think they were on tour with Marilyn Manson, so you get that kind of, um, you know, that kind of inspiration, and I'm not excusing, of course, the influence of Marilyn Manson and, uh, and you know, Nine Inch Nails on these bands, 
um, and those kind of you know those kind of people responsible for you know um, popularizing the industrial genre you know uh, bands like Stabbing Westwood even um, are in there as well um, but yeah very much horror have that or HM909 have that um, that that fusion of punk hip hop and industrial which is you know they're, they're completely unique in their sound um, now uh, nowadays and very much like um, you know very much like um, who else have we had on the list yeah I think you know there's there's some incredible stuff, um, you know very much like Youth Code, um, very much like um, you know the Prodigy and that kind of darker, heavier, uh, but still very accessible sound. Hm nine hundred nine are very much there as well. A similar band which we're going to bring into here um, is Bone Cult from Nottingham in the UK. Uh, doing really really good stuff. They're, they're two mask two mask guys. Both of them can play guitar, but they have uh, live uh, sort of backing and drum machines on stage, and then one guitarist and one vocalist. Really really cool um, visuals. Fantastic. Uh, very accessible uh, stuff. They've uh, been on tour with I think Nova Twins, who are a great band from the UK, and also Sleaford Mods. I think they've played with. Uh, so they're bringing that kind of more accessible industrial style into things. Um, you know, which is which is fantastic for them, um, and they they're doing really really well, and I'm uh, very very proud of, of of them being from the UK. Um, you know, they're they're probably the UK um sort of entrant for this list, um, and just fantastic stuff, which I, I urge you to check out. Final on this list is Street Sects, so that's S E C T S, very much in the vein of um of Youth Code. Uh, obviously, I try and steer away from EBM uh, predominantly. Um, when I talk about industrial, because I, you know, as much as I like the genre and as much as I respect, you know, Assemblage Twenty Three and, and and those types of bands, you know, even the early days of Combi Christ, you know, as much as I appreciate that, you know, in terms of proper industrial, that's you know, takes from Throbbing Gristle, you know, um, takes from uh, Neubarton, you know, like I say, Street Sex um, and uh, Youth Code are very much the two in, in that list. And Uniform is another honourable mention. Uh, for that, they do really cool, you know, things with industrial music, but also meld it with punk, meld it with metal. Street sex, uh, they, they just every time they come out with something, it's dark, it's disturbing, it's like a, the soundtrack to nightmares. And I really, really, I think that's it's, it's fantastic stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's it's the kind of thing you would put on a on a horror a horror soundtrack. Um, but they have guitars in there, examples and everything else. Um, and they they again they do some some really really great work uh, with the industrial music genre. So yeah. Uh, we're putting we're putting Street Sex in there. We're putting uh, Youth Code in there. We're putting HO nine oh nine in there. Code Orange in there as well. Um, you know, like I say, we're not we're not dismissing you know the, the work of Godflesh, the work of Nine Inch Nails, the work of Knights to Rev, the work of Stabbing Westwood. You know, uh, or, or you know newer bands like Clipping. You know, there are incredible bands out there, and, and feel free to to bring them up to my attention. Feel free to to add them to my list. You know, this is just me talking about. Um, Sort of my top five. Obviously, I'm, I'm I work for Soundspin magazine, so we get loads of really cool bands come through, um, and you know, th so these are just sort of five, uh, four or five bands that are really, really picking my interest, picking my interest at the moment, um, that are doing really good things for a genre that I love. So feel feel free, whether it's EBM, whether it's industrial punk, industrial rock, industrial metal. Obviously, you know there are great labels out there like Glitch Mode in Chicago, like Fixed as well in the US, uh, Armalite in 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 the UK, um, you know, who've done some great work with uh, some of the members of Cubanate and some great um, UK bands around the country. Um, you know, there's, there's there's other stuff too. You know, there's there's so many so many amazing bands uh, that are doing doing really good things with the industrial genre, the electronic rock genre, electronic punk, whatever you want to call it. So there's a few in there for you guys to listen to. Hopefully, you enjoy uh, the bands that I've bought up. Uh, and uh, you can get something from this list and please do feedback obviously I'm not trying to you know exclude anybody I want people to include bands I want to find out new music uh, for a, again a genre that I love uh, but there's a few bands for you to check out and I hope you've enjoyed the list uh, thank you very much for watching I've been Dom uh, for Soundspin Magazine this is the Alternative Music Sphere offshoot of that channel uh, cheers for watching uh, we'll see you again soon leave some comments uh, subscribe and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some conversation alright take it easy